growing still. Not when it is flowering. That's right. Real on it. Oh, the insects. Well, um, rice really is a monocot plant. It is similar to sugarcane. Not a lot of insect affect. Not a lot of insect affect rice. But um, uh, some insect that we'll be experiencing now would be things like your armworm, your rice water weevil. Some of the fungus that we'll be seeing would be um, leaf blight, you know, and stuff like that. One of the problems we have with rice is the whole matter of how to keep out the weeds. As you know, rice is a monocot plant. Close to about six inches, six by twelve. You know, in about one square foot, you are going to have about 15 plants. And it's a fibrous root system, and it it's um it, it, it don't compete well with the weed seed. Now the problem is how to spray it. When you have large acreages, you'll have to rely on aircraft to spray. You can also use tractor to spray. To spray it with the boom but those tractor tires must be very narrow to go through the field otherwise it will tear down their feet now I have designed a spraying system instead of using one nozzle I put on eight different nozzles and one man would stay here the other man stay way out there and walk over the field of the rice rather than you with that one nozzle Tearing up and going through the water and all that type of thing. Right? Please don't worry, cause there'll be okay. you can see that the sugarcane farmers and all farmers in Jamaica should really benefit from this and utilize this because it saves time. You are not exposed to the chemical for that long. You don't need that amount of person to be spraying the field in no time at all. Two turn around, you have it done. In the days I used to dream of being rich Having a lot of houses and cars Couldn't know which one was which And finding me a chicken getting hitched Living the fairy tale. This rice field that we have here We have nine div um, varieties That we are doing what is called a variety trial We are looking on the best variety In terms of yield Insect resistance, adaptability the eating quality and um, some other characteristics. The, 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 the length of time, because most of these varieties, they are 110 days from planting to reaping to maturity is 110 days. We would love to have variety that is even shorter than that. Um, these varieties are not hybrid seed. Because if we plant hybrid seed, we will always have to be importing hybrid seed into the country to plant. This is like when a man plant a corn and he reap the corn and he shell off the corn and he plant corn again off the same one. So that is an advantage for this variety here. There is one particular variety that we call the prosecutor four. This variety has four it gives four ratoon. What it means is that when it is mature, you cut it, you water back the field, you fertilize, and you reap a crop, and you do that for four times. This would, of course, be an advantage to farmers in terms of getting planting material every year. You would have ratoon sucker. And the yield, as we understand it, is very good. Now, most of these varieties are really the type of rice that you would see on our shelves in the supermarket and from what we understand the eating quality is good and the customers will be satisfied with it Now make no fuss, now 
I'm in the fight. Got funny rhythm like a dandy bite. She sing fight to be the well on the side. Got funny rhythm from day till night. And every time you come with a new style, yes, your style them well versatile. I'm in the band, and every time me a well. What we have here, we are doing an experiment on the variety trial. We have nine different varieties. If you count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different varieties. And we have two replications, meaning, for instance, this is a prosecutor four over here, and see the same prosecutor four over there, so that we can get a good, a good, you know what I mean? A good idea. Yeah, yes. Uh huh. So, all of them were planted the same day, all of them get the same treatment. We are watching to see things like how many suckers, you call it panicle. This is panicle. This is a panicle. How many suckers it give? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Meaning, I planted one seed and just like sugar cane that gives a lot of sucker around it it gives all of these suckers right so it means that all of them would put up put on what is called a panicle and the rice would grow grow on it right yeah. this is what we call the prosecutor for there's a distinct coloration on the bottom of you have some rice that are all purple in terms of the entire inflorescent the flowers the stem, the leaves, everything is purple about it. This one has a purple at the stem, right? And the leaf is green. But from all indications, this year, Prosecutor 4 is doing quite well in terms of the growth, the emergence, and how it responds under, under st water stress. Because at the time, this one really run out of water. We are supposed to, when we grow the rice, grow the rice at a point we have what is called a permanent flood meaning that we keep the, the rice in the water to about four inches right under the leaf here four inches throughout the duration of the growing of the of the rice we would cut off that water say about 10 days before harvest right and um and allow it to dry of course we harvest when it have on the seed and they are about 80% dry. No. Um the, the, the question arises, when we do grow it, how do we husk it, take off the shell off it, take off the paddy off it, the rice and so forth? Well, we have rice machine that go in the field and can cut it. And we have rice machine that you can draw the back of your pickup and you could take the paddy and put them off in it like this here and it just stretch off all of the seeds and we have small machines that can husk it we don't have to rely on mortar and all that type of thing to beat it we don't have it right now but we are in the process of getting it so when we reap now what we are going to do we are going to sun dry it we usually put it to dry for three days and then we thresh it but when it is sun dried when you thresh it to take off the the seed coat off it the, the husk right you experience a lot of brokerage and that is because there the water content is not uniform throughout the seed some here so have in a little water some over there so a little drier and so you try to thresh it and you have broken Right? So we really have to get an artificial dryer, a, a setup that you harvest the seeds and carry it inside there and you dry it for storage. We always try to store the rice at about 14% moisture content in the seed. And we have what to test to test the moisture content in the seed uh, uh, too. Um, so this is the variety trial as you say. And from all indication they're looking good it takes uh, 
these varieties take about 110 to 112 days to mature and like I said you have some earlier maturing ones especially the hybrid seeds some of them as much as 65 days 85 days and so forth and would really like to get those varieties that really mature early um, yeah. what is happening right here well we have just watered the field as you can see see the pump there we run the water down and we're trying to create a flood but these fields should really be designed almost level and where you have the levees are the bonds because right at this point here where you have tillering and all that we should really have the water in the field to about four inches you know what i mean so to, we use those bags to sort and plastic to sort and help to cool in the water right and when we make up the levee you will notice there, right across here. Notice if you will, right across here. This is the levee. This is the levee. This is the levee, right? And we plant rice on the levee. And because of the fibrous root nature of the plant, it helps to hold the levee from washing out. Right? It holds the levee from washing away. And these rice were sown in trays and transplanted. They were here long before this other one. And as such, you will see some of these rice bearing right now. I, I can show you one that is here. Rice seeds on it. Rice seeds on it. You know? Rice seeds on it. That's okay. okay. Let's see what else though. Black plastic, yeah, what is the use of it? Yes. Like I said, we have the levee. We want to hold the water and make it don't break away. Use so plastic. we use we use the black we use the plastic. Plastic. You don't have to be black. Plastic. Oh. To put on the levee and put the dirt on it to prevent it from the water from soaking away. Soaking away. Uh, um, then of course you want to make sure you get correct heel and one of the techniques that the Chinese use is when it start to flower when the plants start to flower and this is the field the plants start to flower let's assume that it is flowering right now and usually the flowering takes place at 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock for three days when it start to flower you would get a piece of stick like this here and just go through the field and just just touch jail the touches like this or, or, or you have a blower and the panicle the pollen the pollen would be shed and because you have them to stimulate the plant like that it causes the production to be enhanced okay Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Cause the production Chant to enhance. Yes. If you have bees in tomato field or the crops, mm -hmm. the bees help to pollinate the thing. Yeah. But this, if you just a blower or use a stick, oh, okay. it is like if you have a corn that you notice that the grain is scattered, scatter grain corn. Just as the corn start to flow, if you had gone and just agitate the plant like this here just touch it like this here it would cause all of the things to pollinate and would have full corn so when you do like this now it is to pollinate you go to the rice field and you see the Chinese doing like this here it is to 